I took the chassis out of the Westinghouse 511 uh, radio and um, found that this coil does not have continuity um, in the windings so it's either broken off near where the leads attach or, or further inside the windings so I'm going to have to um, find the brake and uh, maybe I might have to rewind this somehow. I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Um, I do have some magnet wire and uh, I'll have to make some kind of a jig up and try and count the number of turns or the um, resistance of the windings themselves not exactly sure how to do that but this has a nice wooden um, dowel uh, for the the core the, the coil form another thing here is that nothing inside this radio seems to make sense or correspond to what is on the schematic on the schematic um, the center tap of the high voltage winding is, uh, goes to a resistor and the negatives of the two elect main electrolytic capacitors and then to ground and that, um, that is where the bias for the 6F6 six um, output tube is taken off from that point but in here it appears that the um, that the center tap of the uh, high voltage winding just goes right to ground. Um, maybe I'm missing something here. I don't know, but it just doesn't seem to make any sense at all to what is on the schematic. Plus the fact that that new electrolytic um, uh, multi-section capacitor was put in, added later uh, so I don't know I think I'm gonna just try and um, I think I'm gonna take that multi-section capacitor right out and um, and then try and rebuild this this um, uh, bar resistor some of this could, for uh, for all I know, these some of these sections could be open anyways. So this is going to be um, quite a challenge. One thing I, I've been wondering about, if anyone can comment on that and, um, or answer this uh, question, is why are um, the grounds from uh, the variable tuning capacitor, why are they in a, in a, a braid instead of just a single uh, a regular wire. Why are they made in a braid uh, type fashion? I always wondered about that and I can never find an answer. Um. So So anyways, I think I'm going to try and figure out how I'm going to uh, fix that coil and everything else. And um, 
<clears throat> I'd like to get this radio working because uh, um, it does have a really neat dial on it and a, quite a large speaker for a, a tabletop and um, so if I can get this radio working and the uh, the big the big Philco then I can uh, make an attempt at that RCA C14 15 tube radio which is probably going to be a six month uh, project so anyways <clears throat>